Bow, 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 bow. You're probably going, Robert, what the hell's your problem, Robert Remus? Uh, no problem here whatsoever. 8.05 in the morning, good morning, Double R Radio, Thursday morning, February the 7th. You know, before I get, you know, I'm going to do this, somebody's going to bother me, let me put this right there, let me do this, put that back over there, and then get back over there. And there we go. We're good. Okay, now, now I can't be bothered. I don't want to be bothered whatsoever. There we go. We're good. We're good. Uh, right now playing AJ Castillo, Yorar y Yorar. Good morning, Double R Radio, Thursday morning, 8.05 for the mañana, February the 7th. Those means is in Um, We're going to go live right now. Good morning, child. I'm going to Sherry Lynn. Ingram, good morning, Sherry. How we doing? Mary Angiano, buenos dias. Stand, boom, boom. Mary, Mary Angiano says, buenos dias, Robert Rivas. Uh, good morning. Here we go. Let's go live. There we go, Mr. A.J. Castillo. Yorar y yorar. Good morning. Este, uh, live on Facebook right now. If you get a chance to stop by, pull over to the side of the road. If you're going poo-poo or you're putting on your makeup or whatever you're doing, stop everything and go... And join me live on Facebook and say good morning. That's the least you can do. If I'm willing to wake up, you should be able to wake up. Good morning, shout out, good out to the very political Michelle Cohen. Good morning, Mary. Mary. Good morning, Michelle. How are we doing, Michelle? Anyways, it's, uh, it is Thursday morning, and uh, I got lots to talk about here. I really, really do. Let's see what's going on here. It is the Hano Thursday. Um, what was I going to say? Do not forget tomorrow morning, Freeform Friday, and of course, tomorrow morning at 930. Speaking of very political... My sidekick, Dr. Pepino, is going to be holding a press conference tomorrow morning direct from downtown San Antonio, and I'm going to go live to the press conference at 9.30. Now, what's up his sleeve? I don't know. I know he's not very political, but we're going to figure out what the hell's on his mind tomorrow morning at 9.30, free for Friday. Good morning, Chad. I got to Linda Ramos. Good morning, Adrian Everett. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Um... Be um, where, where do I want to go? I know where I want to go. Well, let's talk here a little bit. Let's see what I got going on over here and crazy news. Uh, damn, damn. Check this out. Crazy story. Of course, we all know that Super Bowl was all said and done, and it was a very, very boring Super Bowl. Now, check this out. A man became angry over his plate of food that he was served at Super Bowl, at a Super Bowl party. Uh, he ended up killing his stepbrother. That's how disappointed he was on what was being served to him at the Super Bowl get-together. I wonder what kind of food they served him. How, I mean, how terrible of a plate of food can it be for somebody to say, hey, I don't like this, pull out a gun and kill him. I don't condone none of this, of course I don't. But how terrible of a plate of food could it have been for the guy to go, I don't like this, pull out a gun and kill his stepbrother. There you have it. Uh, you're probably going, Robert, what did you serve, Robert Rivas? I served uh, barbecue chicken with ranch-style beans, potato salad, uh, some ice-cold beer. And what else did I serve? I can't say everything else because this is a family show. Good morning, shout out to Rosemary Gomez, sponsor to Double R Radio. Buenos dias. Also, good morning, shout out to Rosalinda, Rosalinda, sponsor to Double R Radio as well. Buenos dias, ladies. Um... Let's see what else is going on. Check this out. Another crazy story. Oklahoma City. An Uber driver says he's feeling lucky after a similarly normal ride request led him to a scene of swarming police. Let me tell you what happened here. A couple of guys decided to go rob a bank in Oklahoma City. As soon as they were done robbing it, who did they call? Uber for the getaway car. What a bunch of idiots, right? Hey, let's go rob a bank. But how are we going to get away? We'll call Uber. Well, as the RMGs went into a bank, they went in there, pulled out a gun, said, give me all your money. When they got the money, they took off running, they called Uber. But before Uber got there, the cops showed up and uh, they got a free ride to the Oklahoma City Jail. There you go. Calling Uber to get away from a bank robbery. What a bunch of idiots. Well, anyways, that being said, I'm going to share a story with you guys. I'm going to give you all a fun fact. This is all true. It really is. I'm not making none of this up. This is 100% la verdad. Um... People have asked me sometimes, Robert, when you're doing the Uber thing, um, of course, nature calls. Um, how do you take care of your nature calls kind of a thing? And they say, I know, right, Uber, right, Adrian? Uh, well, when nature calls and I, uh, you know, you got to go what you got to do. Um, if I'm downtown, I always stop at a hotel. I'll stop in there and I'll go in there right away and take care of business and leave. That's just the way I take care of business, right? Well, 
What happens if I'm not downtown? How do I take care of the nature's call kind of a thing? Well, I'm going to give you a prime example of what I do and what happened to me yesterday. Good morning, Judd Agonessa. Another one of my sponsors, Cynthia Gonzalez, the media is used to Texas. Good morning. Now, yesterday, all true, all kidding aside, man, this is serious stuff. Yesterday, I was driving around. I was out there in the Blanco Fresno area about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and nature came a-calling. That's nature, by the way. And by the way, it was only number one. It wasn't number two. It was only number one. Good morning, child. That's a tiger, Gonzalez. Good morning. Well, I saw a Burger King, and I said, that Burger King will do. So I pull into the Burger King. I go inside, and as soon as I open the men's restroom door, I'm going to tell you, man, somebody had just left the scene of a crime. Somebody died in there. I mean, there, the stink inside that restroom. I'm not going to lie to you, man. I was like, oh, my God. My eyes got all watery. My nose cleared up. I'm serious, man. I mean, it was terrible in there. But I said, man, I had to go. I had to go number one. So I did what I normally do at Fiesta. I held my breath, and I went in there. But the problem was my buddy down here, he smelled it too, and he didn't want to come out. I said, hurry up, come on, come on, we got to go. And he goes, uh-uh, I'm not coming out, it's too dinky out there. Hurry up, we got to go restroom. And he kept on saying, uh-uh, it's too dinky. I'm serious, man. It was so stinky inside that restroom that the sesame seed that you see on the buns, the sesame seeds, they were all taking off. They wanted nothing to do with the restroom. I'm not lying to you, man. I mean, it was so stinky in there that my phone rebooted. That's pretty stinky, right? Really, man, it was so stinky in there that even the employees took off running out and said, we quit. So whoever went in there, if you're listening to me right now, I don't know what you ate, never eat it again. I mean, I had to hold my breath for a minute and a half while I was taking care of business. And I'm telling you, man, um, I have never smell something like that and I never want to smell that again so like, yeah, all I'm going to say is, is uh, that teaches me for stopping at Burger King just to go use the restroom right anyway good morning to Below Radio Thursday morning to Hano Thursday it is of course do not forget to join me Sunday evening for my cruising classic show from 7 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time let's get me going it is to Hano Thursday they do something by Big City Call Buenos Dias Below Radio not really man I'm not lying to you guys man that Burger King man I went in there man and this aroma hit me, and that was the end of that, man. I was crying and crying for at least three or four hours, man. That's how stinky it was. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me. Uh, there we go. Chris Flores, good morning, listening from Rockdale, Texas. There we go. Adrian Everett, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, let's get back to the morning show. Join me. Robert Rebus Radio dot com. Robert Rebus Radio dot com. Just click on the blue button, man, and you'll be joining me live. It's all free, free, free. Join me now. What are they?